Hey everyone! In this video, we're going to cover a new method of retargeting Rococo mocap to APOSE models in Blender, something that's been a little tricky in the past. This method allows us to reset the rest pose of our model to a T pose, no matter how complex your model may be. Let's jump into it. So for this tutorial, we'll be using our Rococo retargeting plugin, but to repose the APOSE models to T pose, we'll be using a free add-on called CATS, which you can download for free in the link in the description below. However, they do have a Patreon, and if you find the add-on useful, it's always good to support the creators if you can, so I encourage you to do that. I'm already in a new project in Blender, and I've already installed CATS, and I can find their plugin right here. Okay, so here we have our model that we'll be working with, and let's talk a little bit about the differences between your model's rest pose versus their current pose. So you can see right here that our model appears to be in a T pose, but if we go into edit mode, you can see that the rest pose of the model is actually this pose with the arms down on the sides. So you might think that you could just go into pose mode and you could select all the bones and go apply pose as rest pose for the skeleton, but the issue is that it won't affect the rest pose of the mesh. So this has always been a bit of an issue with retargeting because in order to retarget Rococo mocap, you need your character to be in a T pose for their rest pose. The workaround until now has been to pose your Rococo mocap on the first frame to the same pose as your character, but that's always been a little bit messy. To make a long story short, if you import your model and you pose it into a T pose, but then you go into edit mode and you can see your model revert to a different non T pose, you're going to run into issues retargeting Rococo mocap. So let's talk about my currently preferred solution to this issue which is to use a free add-on called CATS. So again, the link is in the description below. And you can apparently do something similar with AutoRig Pro, but I believe you can only do it with rigs that you've created in AutoRig Pro, as opposed to characters that you may have purchased or found that are already rigged. So feel free to correct me in the comments if you have a better method of doing this. Okay, so let's, let's start from a clean slate here. I've got my imported character, and I've already installed my CATS plugin. So first I'll just navigate to the plugin. I will select my character and I will hit start pose mode. Then I'm going to rotate my character's arms up into a T pose. I should also flatten the fingers and thumbs to get a perfect retargeting result, but we don't really need to do that for the purposes of this tutorial. So after I've reposed my model, I will select all of its bones and I'll hit apply as rest pose. Now, if I select my model and go into edit mode, there you go. You can see that our new rest pose for this model skeleton and mesh are both in a T pose. So now I can actually import some Rococo mocap and retarget it. If we jump into Rococo studio, I recorded this little dance in my Rococo smart suit and smart gloves. I'm just gonna go to export and then I'll export a binary FBX using the Maya human IK skeleton. So now I'll just pop back into Blender and I will import my mocap. Always be sure to hit automatic bone orientation when you import characters or mocap. If we hit play, you can see our mocap working. And to retarget this to our character, we'll use the Rococo Blender plugin. So I'll go to retargeting, I will select the mocap as my source and the robot as my target. And I will hit build bone list. I usually briefly just check that over this bone list to make sure it was built correctly, and it was. So next, I will just go and hit retarget. And there we go. 
our mocap has been properly retargeted to this character because we made sure to repose the character's rest pose to a T pose before we did the retargeting process. Again, this video has really just been about how you work with characters whose rest poses are not in a T pose, whether they're an A pose or something else entirely, and how to take those characters and get them into a T pose. So put, feel free to put any questions you have in the comments below, and thanks so much for watching.